Type 5 Heavy with that new derp gun, and we are on Sacred Valley. Uh, the tank lineup was pretty comparable fare, I'd say. Uh, we both had three uh, artilleries. Heavy-wise, uh, we had an IS-7, an E-5, and a 57 Heavy, 5120, even though <clears throat> that's a French tank, still got uh, the 50B gun. Uh, they had a 111, 14. Pretty good uh, tank destroyers with the Arty and the Scorpions. Uh, we had some pretty good heavies with the IS-7, myself and the Type 5 Heavy, and STI or ST-1, whichever way you want to say it, plus uh, you know, 5041 auto loader. Um, they had, uh, or we had the RHM, and we had a couple uh, RU-251s and a WZ-131. So we had some decent scouts too, which helps out always. But so I'm heading up to. Um, Basically the uh, C line uh, about C4 C3 area uh, Because that's kind of where actually a little bit further up. It's yeah about the C3 area. I think it is um, And unfortunately, I'm heading up this way and I'm noticing basically so far We've got the STI the Tiger 2 and the 541 well the STI he uh, kind of stays right there, and then the 54-1, he, he breaks off, and I think he goes left here in the Tiger 2. He uh, is heading up here with me. I think somebody gets, yeah, I was going to say the 54-1 just about lost half his health in one shot by artillery. Not that artillery is overpowered by any means. But um, I've been playing this Type 5 Heavy um, just kind of... I, you know, I usually won't say, I'm not the type of person to say a tank is overpowered uh, and it should be nerfed, but I'm thinking that the Type 5 Heavy and Type 4, um, they, they need to kind of, I think, change it back the way it was because basically I hold this whole flank by myself. Because you can see the Tiger 2 is back there in 5041. 5041 breaks off. And so far, I've already bounced 2,800 damage, and I end up holding this flank pretty much by myself, so it's me versus, well, I just took out the Scorpion in one shot, hit him for 1,150 from full health to dead, um, so I can imagine he's pretty pissed he's back in the garage already, but, yeah, this Type 5 Heavy is, it is kind of overpowered now, guys, I really think they need to, uh, maybe take it back the way it was, <laughs> Um, that Tiger 2 ends up, uh, he stays right about there, I think, but, uh, I pretty much just hold this corner all by myself. I think the Tiger 2 ends up, uh, kind of abandoning me. If the, now, to be honest with you, too, I take a couple shots at this, um, Yak Tiger's roof, but it's just a sliver of his roof showing, and, um, wasn't able to, uh, actually hit him, because the dispersion on this gun is pretty awful. The one thing about it is, it's more or less a point and click. I mean, you don't even really need to aim. Just go around the corner, boom. And shaved off 471 more hit points off the IS-6. So that IS-6 made a mistake, because he teamed up with, um, I believe it was, yeah, the Defender. And the IS-6 would never see Tier 10s, but... Yeah, here I thought I was going to be able to hit him. But, like I said, that dispersion just... Unfortunately, I think that's the last shot I take at his roof like that because I just kept uh, two shots and missed. So I wait for him to back up and I get a good shot on him. But this thing, I mean, so far I bounced 4,290 damage. I haven't even been penned yet. Not one single round has penned me. And I've done 3,454 damage. And I've basically, like I said, held this corner off by myself. If the enemy team would have been smart, like I was saying, I didn't finish. What they should have done is if I would have been them, I would have all came at me at the same time. If I had all four, actually five of those tanks come at me, I get the shot off on the Yag Tiger, pretty much. Uh, took half his health, 646, or about a quarter of it. And uh, fixed my ammo rack. And this is just easy cheesy peasy. Just take my time. He couldn't pen me if he wanted to. Actually, I think he loads an HE shell on him and it does like 17 damage to me. So, the Yag Tiger finally pens me one time and he hit me right in the side there. And got a side shot. If I would have been able to get my front around facing him, probably would have never happened. Oh, the Yag Tiger, um, 
Well, the IS-60 sent me for uh, 74. The Ag Tiger penned me once for 541, and the IS-6 penned me for 74 with an HE shell. But finish him off, and that's pretty much the game. I ended up doing 5,851 damage. And uh, my son and I, I uh, was my fi uh, Type 5 Heavy, and he was in his bat chat, and we ended up getting three kills apiece, so we got a Brothers in Arms, and um, I ended up blocking 6,070 damage. Um, yeah, so, I, you know, I hate to say it, and I'm not the Type 2 normally, but uh, I think the uh, Type 5 Heavy uh, is quite a bit overpowered now, considering uh, I got penned one time out of, I believe, 20-some shots. Actually, twice. The, the IS-6 did pen me for 74 hit points with an HE round. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I blocked 6,070 in the gun. I mean, 5,851 damage. Um, not even really aiming at weak points. Just turn, you know, just aim, aiming at a tank real quick, pulling the trigger, and backing up as quick as I can. So, you know, I think they kind of made a mistake. Uh, it's a wee bit way overpowered now. I mean, you can see all these rounds that were hitting me in... Uh, uh, the turret, you know, they tried penning the weak spot there, didn't didn't happen. Hit along the front here, and they didn't pen it. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I just foresee a lot of people complaining about this and um, probably uh, nerfing it back to the way it was, and probably I imagine they're going to be taking that HE gun back off it. Uh, either that, or they're going to do something to the shell where uh, it's doesn't quite do as much damage. They'll probably lower it where it does like a 900 average damage versus all I shoot is premium rounds out here because it does 300 more damage than the standard round does. So obviously you're going to shoot that. I don't make any money on it. I think I lost um, a couple thousand credits, but you know, I, if you have an option to shoot one that's going to do a uh, average of 1100 damage, which that means you're probably going to do about, you know, four or 500 when you hit something. Or you're going to possibly do 1400, up to 1400 damage. So you're going to do more like, you know, five, six, seven hundred 700 damage. Or like where I hit the scorpion on the side and one shot them. You know, so I just, I foresee them, you know, nerfing this back down. Too many people are going to bitch about it saying it's overpowered and the gun is ridiculous. Uh, I think they're going to see that they made a mistake putting that big derp gun on this thing. And uh, they'll probably take the derp gun back off. And this is just guesstimation, you know, by... If, when I'm on the other end of one of these things, I mean, I, I don't seem to have much trouble penning. You know, I aim for this area right here, but I am also shooting premium rounds. I imagine a lot of the tanks that were hitting me, you know, and I was also angled, so it wasn't a nice straight-on shot for them. But uh, I just, I like I said, I foresee them nerfing this back down to the way I was and taking that uh, big derp gun off it. So have fun in it for the next couple months because they'll probably have it you know overpowered till the next patch comes out and then people will complain about it and they will take it back down to the way it was so you know enjoy it while you can guys anyways if you want to hold on for the post game stats i'll be back in just a minute hey all right this is the results of that match it was a uh, master badge class 2 shell proof duelist fire for effect bruiser steel wall high caliber uh, cool headed and a brothers in arms and because I was teamed up with my son and we both got um, At least three kills a piece. This tank is a flipping beast now um, I was actually pretty much holding that whole flank off by myself I did have one I believe one heavy behind me that was kind of covering my backside But literally the t 1025 WZ 11114 Yag Tiger Defender IS-6 and Scorpion G all um, kind of stayed uh, behind trying to stay behind that hill and every time they would kind of come out I just put a round into them and knock five six hundred health off them and ended up uh, knowing I thought you know with me sitting there kind of by myself if they would have bum rushed me I'd have been screwed but they just kind of stayed there and uh, so I just kept popping out and putting rounds in them and knocking the snot out of them um, so I got uh, 5,851 damage and three kills, and my son in his bat chat got 2,314 damage and three kills. So we were able to get the uh, Brothers in Arms. My base experience on that was a 1,086. So I had 12 shots, 10 hit, 10 pen, and I hit, uh, I believe it was the T-1025 for some splash damage. And uh, so it was a total of 5,851 damage. I got hit 19 times. Three pen me, 16 blocked, 
Uh, so I blocked 6,070 uh, damage with my armor. I spotted five vehicles and uh, damage six, destroyed three. Uh, damage caused with my assistance was a whopping 40. Made 79,070 credits, and my uh, clan has a payment going on right now, so I made an extra 11,861. So a total of 90,931 credits on that match, but I shot all the premium HE rounds, so I lost 1,856 credits. But, I mean, really, that's not too bad for the amount of shells I shot, and they were the uh, more expensive premium rounds. And I believe... They are not very cheap. Yeah, each round is 6,400 credits. The standard rounds are 1,320 credits. But I like doing it. They do the same amount of penetration. But the thing is, is you do more damage with the premium rounds. How that works, I don't really know. Uh, if it's getting the same amount of penetration. But if I'm going to do on an average of about, you know 300 extra damage, I'll take it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, you guys take it easy, be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield.